Policy-based routing gives you a flexible way to route packets through a defined policy for traffic flows. We'll talk about how to configure policy-based routing on this edition of Tech Talks next. Who doesn't want more control over routing? With policy-based routing, you can set a path for certain traffic, such as priority traffic over a high-cost link. Here's how to set it up. First, go to the switch portal and log in. Next, look in the upper right corner and change the display mode from basic to advanced. Then look on the left side of the screen and under IP configuration, select policy-based routing. Then click route maps, then click the add button. You can use an existing map or create a new one. In this example, we'll create a new map and call it test map. Then you can go ahead and give it a sequence number. This number indicates the priority of rules in a specified route map. If a route map has more than one rule, or ACL defined, the sequence number determines the order in which packets will match, starting with the lowest number. Next, choose the IP type, either IPv4 or IPv6, depending on your next hop type. In this case, I'll choose IPv4, then match the ACL. If you choose IPv6, the next hop type can be either global, link local, or point to point. Global is an IPv6 address that is visible and reachable from other networks. Link local is an IPv6 interface and address that uniquely identifies hosts on a single network link. It has a prefix of FE80 and is not routable and can only be used for communication on the local network. Point to point is a point to point tunnel. For next hop, go ahead and enter the IP address of the next hop router. Then click apply and then close. Next, go back to the left-hand side and click Route Map Binding, then click Add. Click which interface and then which IPv4 or IPv6 route map you want to apply. Then click Apply and then Close. Be sure to apply it by clicking Save in the upper right corner. You did it! You successfully configured policy-based routing on your SG350 and SG550 switches. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.